So you want to find high demand, low competition products to sell on Etsy that will give you the freedom to quit your job and work from anywhere in the world. Well, you're in the right place. Hi, my name's Sumner and my wife, Allie and I have generated over $1 million selling our own physical and digital products across Etsy, Amazon, and Walmart. And you're about to learn a secret Etsy product research method that you've never seen before and get 100% free access to my personal Etsy product research spreadsheet. And we'll be using my favorite Etsy product research tool, which by far is Everbee, which you can get started for free, both of which will be linked in the description section below. And now let's find some profitable products to sell. All right, so first, before we start filling out the Etsy product research spreadsheet with all the important information that we need before we start launching the product, first we need to identify an overall category, a high demand category of products which can be physical or digital on Etsy. Then what we're gonna do is, okay, here's a big category, right? Let's say like men's wallets or wall art or printable wall art or whatever it might be. And then we're gonna find this category and then drill down within that category to find very specific, what are called long tail keyword opportunities in that market that are way less competitive to where we have very high upside, very low downside. And if that sounds confusing or really complicated and you're not analytical, there's no worries at all. Literally, it's a step-by-step -step process. It's very simple. It does take some time because if it was you know, so easy, everyone would be doing this, but it's a lot easier once you have the right framework in place than a lot of people think. Everything will be explained. So that's kind of step one. We need to identify the big category of products that people are buying. So by category, I mean, you, know, you can go on ChatGPT or Google or look at your past Etsy purchase history and think about products that would sell well on Etsy. And you don't know at this point, that's fine because we have the data right here with Everbee. So here on the screen, as you can see, this is my Everbee account, or I should say one of my accounts. It is my favorite Etsy product and keyword research tool. And you can get started with a free trial, which I'll be linking in the description section below and get as far as you can with the free trial, watch this video and then see if it's worth for you actually purchasing. For me, it's definitely worth it because what you wanna do is once you sign up for an account, here in the research tools section, click on product analytics. And basically, so let's say for this example, we want printable wall art, okay? So we're interested in selling some printable wall art on Etsy, all right? We aren't the only ones, trust me. Uh, so we're gonna type in printable wall art here in product analytics, click on search products. And what's really cool is Everbee, one of its features, and there's many, and I've had a whole video on a full Everbee tutorial in case you missed it here on the channel. Be sure to subscribe because there are Etsy tutorials you won't find anywhere else on the internet. So here, whatever keyword you type in, Everbee extracts all listings that contain this keyword in the Etsy listing, specifically in the Etsy title, and then exports the data here. So what kind of data do we have? So for all products that contain the word printable wall art, we have a photo of the product and we can actually click and go to Etsy. The product name, price point, monthly sales, monthly revenue, total sales, number of reviews, and the age of the listing. So really great data. And my favorite data here that I really like to work with is monthly revenue. Now this is an estimate, so keep that in mind. All keyword tools, product research tools for, it could be Amazon, for Google, for Etsy, all rely on estimates. So keep that in mind. But I've actually compared our own product revenue to the estimated revenue in Everbee. And I have to say, it's actually fairly accurate. It's a very, very accurate tool overall, but there are some discrepancies, which is why it's important to look at multiple data points, which I'll show you here in a second. It's very simple to do, but just kind of keep that in mind that it is an estimate. So what are we looking for specifically? Okay, so what I recommend that you do after you type in your main kind of keyword, because we're like, okay, Type in just any category. What product do you want to sell? What product are you interested in selling? What do you think would be profitable? All of those, start typing those in one by one. So printable wall art, we want to organize this column here, which will show you by monthly revenue. Highest to low is what we want to sort. So let's click it one more time to basically show us who are the top sellers in this category, right? And we, see, we want to look at the top fives. So we have one, two, three, four, five. And you can scroll over the image to make sure that yes, this is printable art, wall art. And we can see that the top five sellers are generating anywhere from around $11,000 or even down here. Yeah, around $11,000 up to about $16,000 a month for these products per product. Really crazy. So for me, this is my personal criteria. You have to think about what are your goals? Like, where do you wanna be in life and use Etsy to get there? Okay, so what is your specific life goals? That's gonna depend on your criteria. For me and Ali and I and our life goals, here's our criteria. 
We wanna make sure that the top products are doing at least $10,000 a month or more if they're physical products. If we're looking to sell digital products, we wanna make sure they're at least $5,000 a month or more. The more, the better. So let's look. Are the top five sellers doing at least $5,000 a month or more for this digital product? The answer is yes, about three times that. So that's great. So what this is telling me is people are buying printable wall art on Etsy. So we've identified a category, bingo. Let's start dr drilling in and finding those specific profitable, high demand, low competition product opportunities. So we're gonna go back to the sheet. So here, this spreadsheet, like I said before, you can get it for 100% free, linked in the description section below. Just enter your name and email. I'll send it over directly to your inbox. And once you get it, there'll be a little tab in the top left corner. Click on file and then click on make a copy and you'll get your own copy that you can play around with. And you just need a free Gmail account to use this. So you don't have to pay for this or anything. Um, you just need a free Gmail account and you'll be able to open this and do everything that you see here on the screen. And it might look kind of intimidating because there's a lot of data here, a lot of text, but it's very simple and it kind of helps track all your product research process make it very clear. And ultimately, after you fill this out, it'll show you the best products to start selling on Etsy and you move one after the other. And the more products you launch on Etsy, the more you know profit you make and so on, right? And it can totally transform your life within the next 11 months. It's crazy. So what we wanna do is first, here on the far right corner, we wanna actually start with product type. This is the overall category. So category, niche, product type. So we have the short tail keyword, that's uh, column H. So just here in row, so that'd be number four, enter in the same keyword that you entered in here in Everbee. So we have printable wall art. We go over here and we've already entered it in, but printable wall art. So if I was doing a new one, it'd be printable wall art, right? So we have printable wall art. Okay, what else we have is also the average top five monthly Etsy seller revenue. So as we see here, what we wanna do is go back to Everbee, tally this up, so one, two, three, four, five take the average of this and then enter the average here, which I just estimated around $14,900 because basically wanna see, you know, what is our potential? This is where we can get with our product at the high end, but then we wanna to get to the more specifics. So that's short tail, average. And now here we still have Etsy keyword volume we need to fill out and Google keyword volume. So for Etsy keyword volume, what's great is Everbee is gonna give that to us. So here in research tools, we're gonna to head down to keyword research. Okay, we're gonna type in, printable wall art and it can be any keyword you want and it's going to show you related keywords and search volume so we have 4,992 monthly searches so that's four you know almost 5,000 searches every month for this specific product on etsy very high demand so we can go ahead and put that in here now for google keyword volume this requires another tool outside of everbee and it is another paid tool for me personally i highly recommend using both an Etsy specific tool and a Google tool because 33% of online purchases in the United States begin on Google. A lot of people don't know that. So people actually go shopping or at least start planning their purchase on Google. And because you want, you have two different tools, you're kind of seeing if there's discrepancies. So for example, if we see printable wall art has high Etsy keyword volume, but low Google keyword volume, it's kind of like, okay, is this legit or not? Because they're both estimating. But if we see it's high for both, then we know, okay, this is a high demand product. So it's optional. So we have Google keyword volume here for the product type. And we also repeat here, Google keyword for the specific product. So again, it's optional. I have a full video here teaching you already have created how to use what's called key search for Google keyword volume. And you can go ahead and check that out if you haven't already, but keep in mind, this is optional. Anyway, so now, you know, we have our search volume, we've entered that in here. We have our top five Etsy revenue. We have our short tail keyword. That's basically just the category keyword, the niche keyword you can kind of think of, but it's that shortest keyword that describes a specific type of product. Okay, so we have that all filled in here. Great, that's the overall category. Now it's time for the fun stuff, right? While you're actually watching this video for the specific high demand, low competition Etsy product opportunities. So. Once you filled out this section over here, and when you start off, it'll just be this first row here, right? And then we'll later, we'll when we find multiple opportunities within the same niche, then we kind of go down and drag down like that, okay? And next, head back to Everbee. In keyword research, make sure you have your main keyword typed in, so printable wall art, hit search. And then what we wanna do is click on the filters here for the keyword section down there, we wanna command C to copy, Command V to include. So make sure you include that same keyword. For volume, I'd recommend starting 100 minimum, maximum of 200. We're gonna start there, then 
collect as many ideas as we can, then move 200 to 300, 300 to 400, and so on um, up to find really specific opportunities. And you'll see why here in a second. So we have our opportunities here. Basically all products or keywords that shoppers are typing into Etsy that contain the word printable wall art between 100 to 200 monthly searches are all displayed right here. And you wanna make sure that you filter here by the volume from highest to low. And again, we wanna make sure we expand so we see the full keyword. All right. And then what we wanna do is just think honestly like, hmm, what is interesting here? Like what is a specific opportunity that could be a really good seller? And we don't know. You know, that's why we're doing the research and we're gonna find out later once we collect more data, but it's anything that kind of piques your interest, right? A product that you think realistically people will buy and we already know that there's demand for it because there's keyword volume. But yeah, so for example, terracotta printable wall art, that's interesting. Now here it says printable wall art terracotta, but I'm gonna put terracotta printable wall art or just actually, I'm gonna write the lowest terra, terracotta wall art. Sorry, terracotta printable wall art, there we go basically changing the order a bit, because this is kind of how you're gonna start, but then think, what would someone type in? Like wall art, printable, terracotta kind of sounds weird. What would you type in? It'd be terracotta, printable, wall art. So that's what you kind of insert. It doesn't matter as much, just that's why it's not exactly the same on the sheet as it is here. Printable wall art for mom. That's kind of interesting, like maybe mom wall art. That could be interesting. So I'm gonna type in, you know, mom wall art, or actually maybe just wall art for mom. Wall art, art for moms. This is basically not telling you what to sell. It's kind of helping you come up with ideas that will then later. Teen room. See this teen room printable wall art is kind of vague to me. Like, cause there's different designs for teen room. It's like maybe pink printable wall art, or I don't know what else there would be. Uh, if you haven't seen, I'm not a, a teen girl, so I'm not really sure. Love quote wall art. That could be interesting. So love quote wall art and so on, right? And we're just kind of generating some ideas, but as many as you want, I recommend filling out this sheet with a hundred different ideas. Yes, it's gonna take some time. You can hire someone to do this with this exact video um, and send it to them and have them do this, but it's well worth the time. The more products you research, the more you're gonna find that goal, those few golden opportunities, be able to sell them and just, it's gonna pay off so much because product research is the most important part of the Etsy process by far. It makes everything else easier, SEO, advertising, and ultimately profitability. So anyway, we can keep going down. If you want, then you can, you know, you've seen all you can or all the ideas that you think are good, then you move to 200 to 300, just staying one section at a time and kind of moving up, right? And then you do the same thing here. So let's say geometric wall art, that's kind of interesting. So we do like geometric wall art. And you know, some have the word printable and some don't, you can look at kind of the data for both. But again, I'm kind of looking at that specific product because if people are buying, let's say a geometric design wall art, and they're actually buying the wall art, they may be interested in buying a printable digital download that they can then turn into it at a lower price. Okay. So that's why I don't really care if it has the word printable as much, you know, and it doesn't really matter. So we have the keywords over here. These are our product ideas. How do we know if they're good or not? Well, if they have high demand, if there's people making money and there's an opportunity here in column F. So let's start with, let's actually, this kind of interests me. Wall art for moms, let's check this out. So wall art for moms, we're gonna start here. You can start anywhere, but we wanna find Etsy keyword volume. So we go back to Everbee, keyword research. Here's, we wanna go back here, command V to paste and hit search. And it's gonna tell us the search volume. So wall art for moms, 1,447, it's great. And the key here is what is good or bad search volume summoner? It's relative, okay? You're looking at, because you're not looking on a product basis, you're gonna compare all the products together at once. And if there's a certain product that has very high search volume, it has high monthly revenue, and there's an opportunity to differentiate, which I'm gonna show you using Amazon for free, then it's gonna lead you, aha, these are definitely the products we should start with, let's go there. So that's the Etsy monthly keyword volume, 1,447 searches per month on average. We can skip the Google keyword volume for now. Etsy revenue, what we're gonna to do to find that is command C to copy that again. Click on product analytics, because that's gonna give us find the top seller. And in the search product kind of bar, this is where we want to put our keyword. So we'll kind of give it a second to load there, enter it in, click on search products. And we wanna make sure that we organize from highest to monthly revenue. Okay, but before we just blindly kind of copy and paste the top seller, we wanna hover over these images and say, okay, does this match the keyword? So these are, another word I would use to describe this is floral. 
these kind of work for moms. What I'm looking for is it should have the word mom in the listing, which it does not have, or in the actual design. So these are floral. These are for moms, but here, there we go. It has the word mom in it. That's what I'm looking for because someone, like I want it very specific. To me, this, this is a great gift for moms, but it's a floral wall art, if that makes sense. If I had to choose one keyword to describe, it'd be floral printable wall art, for example, where this is specifically for moms, has the word mom in it. Okay, so that's what I want to look at is very specific. I'll show you another, another example. So it's 10,416 per month. So here, the top seller for specifically for mom, wall art for moms or mom wall art is this. And back here on that listing, what you can do is actually click. It's gonna open up the side tab with all this different data. And I wanna click on view on Etsy because I wanna extract that URL. So I'm gonna command C to copy this listing URL once it kind of loads here. Go back to my spreadsheet and just paste it in here. So here's the top seller, here's how much revenue, here's the uh, keyword volume. And of course, if you want um, Google keyword volume as well. Again, to kind of show you that example of, of what I'm, because I know it can be a little bit confusing. Geometric wall art, let's do one more. Go back to Everbee, exit out of that. We wanna look at geometric wall art uh, on Etsy. So we're gonna search for products. And again, organized by highest, lowest monthly revenue, which is the default. Now, again, hover over and just think, is this, you know, geometric? In this case, yes, I think this is geometric, but there's a lot of options that are kind of more, I don't know, organic or, you know, that I don't know if I would necessarily call like geometric, okay? Like this here, that'd be more of a horse wall art. It's very organic. So just kind of be careful. This is, again, geometric. This is not really geometric. It's like a tree wall art, but it has the word geometric somewhere in the title. So that's why it shows up. So that's all I'm saying is just be careful. In this case, what is the top seller? So again, top seller here doing about, was it 7,562? We're gonna go here, 7,562, and then copy. And you may be thinking, like Sumner, that's cool. Remember, we wanna sell printable wall art. This is not printable, this is a $200 picture. And here's a little secret number one that I'll share with you, is find these kind of top selling designs. People are buying this for the design, right? Now, a certain percentage of shoppers are only gonna buy the physical version. They don't care about digital. They want the physical, maybe this has wood in it, right? They want that for their home. There's a percentage of shoppers that love the design, but they don't wanna pay that expensive price, $200 for art. So there's a percentage that are willing to buy a digital version of this. Now, I'm not saying to copy this design and sell it as a digital product, but what you can do is use this inspiration. Why do people like this product? You know, it has those woody elements, those kind of triangles. Use that. You can either do this yourself using Canva or other tools if you're a designer. You can also go on fiverr.com or upwork.com, which are both great, and find a designer like we have to help design this product and say, hey, use this as inspiration to design a digital product. Because what do we know? We know that people like this product. So keep in mind the top seller for geometric wall art, this is a physical product and we wanna sell a digital product, but we can create a digital version of it in a way. Again, do not copy other people's work. That's not just unethical, it's copyright infringement. So just kind of keep that in mind. That's not what I'm advocating. I just want to make that clear. But keep in mind, nothing new is under the sun. You know, there's there's just different versions of the same thing. So create a better version, a, a version people like more and sell that, okay? So enough there. Again, anything that you see like a hole, like here or here or like, you know, over here, that means we need to fill in, you know, for terracotta printable wall art, we need month, Etsy revenue, we need Etsy keyword volume and all of that. So wherever there's these white spaces, that means, you know, that needs to get filled in. We already know how to do it. So you can go ahead and fill that in as you go through. We can see that we've already filled out these sections here. Now, what's really important is this differentiation opportunity section. This is what I'm really excited. Okay, so this is the big secret. So amazon.com, this is a free website. It is the largest e-commerce platform on planet earth. So people spend on average 54 times more money on Amazon than Etsy, just for scale, okay? So that means, you know, Amazon generates 54 times more revenue than Etsy does. It's 54 times bigger than Etsy. So why does that matter? Because we wanna find top selling products on the biggest e-commerce platform in the world. Again, use those designs as inspiration and see, huh, could we take a design like this, right? Similar, not the same, not copying it, but some of those similar elements create a digital product and become a top selling product on Etsy. I can actually show you an example of someone already doing that. They actually found a top selling product on Amazon, pretty much copied it almost identically actually. And it's now one of the top selling products for that specific keyword on Etsy and so on. So it's really powerful and it's free and I'm gonna show you. Okay, so how does this work? So go back to the spreadsheet. 
Let's just start here with wall art for moms. Command C to copy. Go to amazon.com. If you're in another country, make sure you're using a VPN. It needs to be amazon.com because uh, that's the biggest platform. There's Amazon UK, Amazon Australia, Amazon Emirates, all these different places. The US is the biggest and the majority of you are American. So we're just gonna command V to paste. Okay, scroll down. When you see sponsored here, ignore the sponsored, okay? We don't care about that. We wanna start looking where it doesn't say sponsored. And what you also wanna look for is which products have the highest number of reviews. Why do we care about that? Because for someone to leave a review, they have to buy. And on average on Amazon, about 1% of shoppers leave a review, which is actually way lower than Etsy, which is anywhere from like two to 5%. So it's 1%. So basically the number of reviews, multiply that by 100, and that's the estimated revenue for that product. So what does that mean? Where there's smoke, there's fire. Where there's reviews, there's sales. So the more reviews, that's more sales. There you go. You don't need a, you don't need another keyword tool. You don't need another product research tool. You can use Amazon for free. And another little tip is Amazon wants to make money. And same thing with Etsy. So they're going to take the products that, that sell the best for that keyword. And usually they're going to show them at the top of the page. So we just want to look at the top 10 results here and look at the specifically the 10 results with the most reviews. Those are the top selling products for that keyword. In this case, wall art for moms, or, or we can even do this, see if there's a difference. Mom wall art. There shouldn't be a difference, but let's see. In sponsor, there is. Actually, that actually does look like a bit of a difference, but you can kind of type in both and kind of scroll down. So anyway, let's do wall, wall art for moms. It actually is interesting. Usually it's not this different. Wall art for moms. But you can kind of type in a couple different keywords to find. And again, our goal is to find top selling designs. So that's kind of cool. Mom's Kitchen, that's kind of cool. 187 reviews, not bad. That seems to be the most as I'm scrolling down here. Yeah, personalized, um, not really specifically for moms. 175 as well, that looks nice. So here's what I'm seeing. Number one, mom's kitchen design, something like that. So this is just like a black and white, you know, design mom's kitchen with this sort of font, some different utensils, and maybe I'd make it colorful. Maybe I'd do some things differently um, and make some different versions if it's a digital product. But this is the overall design, kind of the template that we're gonna base our product on. Then we're gonna scroll down and we see this one here, 175 reviews to my mom, Da, 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 and just this default text. And actually, I think I could definitely improve upon this because I think it's really cluttered. So these are two top selling products for mom art on Amazon. So let's check out Etsy. So we're gonna go to etsy.com and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna cross reference. So we're gonna go up here, the same keyword. We just wanna use that, type it in, type in wall art for moms. And again, same idea here. We wanna scroll past all the ads. We wanna see what's organically ranking. So ad by Etsy seller here. This is an ad, this is an ad. Scroll past all the ads and just look at organic, okay? And then we wanna see, okay, what are the products that are selling here on the first page? So go through the first page. So we have, you know, this one here. I didn't even see this on Amazon. All right, it's kind of scrolling through, right? And the question that I'm asking in my head is, do I see, this design or this design in search results. So I'm scrolling down and so far I'm not. Do you see mom's kitchen anywhere? And you can comment, let me know in case I like missed it, but I don't think so. Or that other design, boom, look at that. All of page one, we're gonna go back. This design, these two designs do not exist. So what I'm gonna do is go back to my spreadsheet. So wall art for moms. Is there an opportunity? Yes. Why is there an opportunity? There's actually a couple, but I'm gonna put one where it is like mom's kitchen, black and white, like mono grant or mono, is it mono, whatever. Anyway, you know, mom's kitchen, black and white, and maybe I'll also uh, click on this listing and then I'll copy the link here for reference, which is actually huge. Uh, but anyway, just kind of give me, so is there opportunity on Etsy? Yeah, there is. Does it guarantee that if we sell a product like this, it's gonna sell well on Etsy? No, that's why I need to launch multiple products on Etsy to see success, 80, 20. 10 to 20% of your products, especially that top 5% are gonna generate the majority of your profit. So keep that in mind. But basically I'm asking, if I wanna sell wall art for moms, is there opportunity? The answer is yes. There are top selling designs on Amazon. That there's no version that exists on Etsy. And actually just to make sure, what I like to do, it's a bit more complex, but it's very important to do, is I would do mom's, mom's kitchen art. 
And let me see if there's already one that says mom's kitchen on it. No, there's one for kitchens. This kitchen is for dancing. This is just a general kitchen one. Amazing. There's nothing for moms for kitchen. There is this mama's kitchen, but it's not a digital and it's a different design. It's, you know, wood. It's a totally different design. So even though this exists, it's an ad, which usually I ignore. I want to see what's organically ranking. But yeah. In my view, there's definitely opportunity here. And you just kind of copy and paste and keep going through the process. If that makes sense. We're trying to find that discrepancy. And the reason we did all of this is like, okay, that's a lot of work. Well, yeah, if it was easy, it's easy, or I should say it's simple, but it takes time. If it was just so fast and everyone could do this, which by the way, this really speeds up the process, then everyone would be selling and become super saturated. But this is the way to find those specific opportunities. And then what I wanna do is I kind of look at both sides. I look at the orange side over here of the specific product and the product type over here. And basically what I see here is if I sell, you know, affirmation wall art and I become the top seller, let's say I, I sell the best design, I become the top seller. I can make anywhere, you know, realistically on the high end between $11,000 a month to about $15,000 a month realistically, because keep in mind, any of these foggy, you know, all of these products, and let me actually go down here because now we have more designs. So, you know, get rid of these. It's all the same, right? Because all of these here in column A came from the root here on column H. So this is kind of like the low end of what we can expect. And this is kind of the high end if we become the top seller. Because any of these, spiral wall art, mushroom wall art, wall art for moms, geometric wall art, potentially, not guaranteed, but potentially could become a top seller here on Etsy and then meet with the top sellers and do around you know $15,000 a month. So that's kind of the range that I look at. It can be anywhere from, for example, for this product, $2,000 to $15,000 a month if I became the top seller, if I have an amazing design. And remember, you know, you know, anywhere from one to two out of 10 of your products are going to be home runs. Okay. So keep that in mind. That's why you need to kind of launch more, but it's a good kind of way to look at it. And once I kind of fill out this full sheet, like you've done, what I look at is what products here, and I recommend at least 50 to hundred, it takes way faster with this process than you think. And you can get so much done in one week. You can have, you can find dozens of amazing products to start selling on Etsy. So what I like to look for is what products have the highest Etsy keyword volume, highest Google keyword volume, highest um, monthly revenue, and that I think have the best opportunity to differentiate. And that part is qualitative. This part over here, this is all quantitative, right? We have data, but that's where the art comes into this because it's a science and an art. That's a reason why if it was just blank copy and paste, then anyone could just do it. Where you kind of need to think, okay, what would be like the cheapest or the fastest for me to create? What do I think people would really like? Get in the mind, like if you're a mom, right? And you're, or you're sorry, you're not a mom. You're a daughter buying a product for your mom. Are you honestly, realistically gonna buy that? Like, do you think so? Do you think there's a good opportunity there? If yes, great, then move forward. So I'm trying to find, you know, where do I really think, oh my gosh, there's definitely an awesome opportunity here. And there's high, you know, keyword volume and high monthly revenue. That's great. I'm like, boom, bingo. I'm going to launch and see how it does and experiment with that, if that makes sense. So that's kind of how I interpret the data. It's not like, oh yeah, this is exactly the product that you should launch. You're guaranteed to be successful. If anyone's telling you that they are lying to try to maybe sell a course or whatever, but this is, yeah, extremely powerful. I hope you see the value of it. And remember, you can access this spreadsheet as well as the free trial of Everbee. I'll be linking that below. And if you like this video, be sure to check out our full step-by-step -step Etsy tutorial playlist here on the channel covering Etsy ads, keyword research, product research, the full Everbee tutorial, all of that will be linking below as well. So again, thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this valuable and look forward to seeing you in the next one.